Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. I'm Super Dave, and today we're going to take a look at the Maya. It is currently, if you're watching this video on the week that this comes out, it is on sale. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Maya. And it is actually a fun ship. It's, to me, a lot kind of like a mini Suzuya, kind of. Um, but let's go ahead and start uh, with the commander, it's Hagero. Now, if you don't have Hagero and you're free to play, Yamato is is a, a fine option. Um, but anyway, Nikolai Kuzganov, Mambelli on this build, and for our skills, we're using Burn it Beyond Range, Igniter, Hellfire, Fixated, and the Refill Station. Now, I use Refill Station because I use this on all my Japanese cruisers. However, if... I was building only for this ship i would do fully packed the reason being is we'll go look here as you can see you get uh, a heal and a reload and sonar so having that reload and extra heal could come in handy um so for uh, the up uh, the modifications our first one we're taking the turret traverse because sometimes when i get with the uh, the ships that uh start fires uh, a lot of times the accuracy isn't the most important thing to me and the turret traverse is pretty slow on this ship even with that you can see it's still 25 seconds so the turrets really need a lot of help um, we're using propulsion mod for uh, the second one and concealment is always in the third slot for the loadouts you do have two sonars and like i said if you took refill or uh, fully packed this would help out a little bit and you do have two main battery reload boosters and two repair your heels they're not the world's best but having a heel is still handy for the specs is 39,000 health uh, and these guns uh, are pretty solid for the most part there's only eight of them and they reload only every 14 seconds so you know almost 15 seconds that's kind of the downfall uh you know it's a heavy cruiser and it does hit pretty good um but you don't you know you have eight guns that reload every 15 seconds on a cruiser so um you know kind of take that with a grain of salt however the he hits have really hard with like the rest of the japanese cruisers uh, and the fire chance is very high so uh it is pretty balanced in that form uh torpedoes they are pretty powerful and they are pretty fast but they are detectability by quite a distance and they are kind of short they're not like a lot of the other japanese cruisers where you just throw them out there all willy-nilly i have a tendency to save these uh for self-defense and sometimes if i think i'm getting chased by a destroyer i will throw them out there so for your aa defense i don't think i've had a carrier match with this um yeah, I actually only had the the one match actually with it, uh, but I would expect this not to be overly overwhelmingly great AA, but you could probably take some planes down with it. For your maneuverability at tier six, this thing doesn't turn the best. Um, you know, it has a pretty wide turning circle for tier six cruisers, and the rudder is a little bit on the slower side. Speed is, eh, it's okay. Detectability at 10.3, not too shabby. Uh, not that you run into it, but detectability with firing and smoke is 6.7 because this is a heavy cruiser. So uh, really kind of can be tough if you do find smoke to shoot out of it. For your armor in this ship, you're going to get overmatched by every battleship in the game. So be careful. Um, and you, honestly, this armor, you, you can take some hit you can angle with it as you can see it's not the world's best but again it's you the citadel is pretty big <laughs> and it's pretty wide so a lot of times it's not going to get over penned uh so you definitely for the most part want to be using island cover if you can if the opportunity arises even me as an aggressive player um i definitely when i got into this when i first saw this citadel i was like oh yeah <laughs> uh, and you're gonna see in the match i'm gonna get hit pretty hard by it 
and you're going to see the Citadel is this big and everything likes to, you know, fully pen it. So um, from what I can tell in this match, you want to be not seeing a whole lot in it. As we go ahead and start this match and check who we're up against, I do want to say it is disclaimer time. This is a beginner's guide to help out people just learning this ship or uh, learning the game in general. This is not for professional gamers that know everything there is to know about everything. There is also multiple ways to build and play ships, so opinions will vary. I am just a above average player. I don't claim to be the best player in the world. I just am a pretty darn good player, so I do make mistakes. You're going to see some in this match. And also, you didn't come to this video to see how to pronounce names, as I am very terrible at slaughtering other beautiful languages. It's almost an art form, so keep that in mind when you're watching this, guys. With that out of the way, we're going to get rid of our torpedoes. This was a hair early, but I was trying to make it to this island, and a lot of destroyers go towards that island. That's why I kind of always throw torps there if I have an opportunity. Um, but we're going to go ahead and push up to this island. And one thing to note here, this is not ripping on this destroyer, but our team destroyer is kind of heading towards C. Uh, that guy is not going to be super effective in this match. Um, and you'll see that I make an adjustment when I realize he's not going to help out much. So at this point, instead of spotting, he's actually going to go ahead and turn around. Um, but you can see where our torps ended there, and in a second here, after we hold our shot so we don't get uh, spotted yet till we get closer to the island, um, and so we can get behind the island if we need to, uh, Mahan does show up right behind uh, that island where I put the torp. So you can see that's a pretty popular island for destroyers there, um, and our destroyer uh, is backing up. Now he does help a little bit taking out the Mahan, this is about all he does productive, in my opinion. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, not ripping on him. I'm just, a, you have to adjust your teammate's play style very quickly as we definitely help get rid of this Mahan real quick. Um, you, you don't want to just damage hunt in a destroyer, and that's what this destroyer does instead of spotting. Uh, in the destroyer, you want to play for caps, and, and um, you know, spotting for your team, getting rid of other destroyers. Now, he did get rid of the other destroyer, but he is not going to spot at all. And he's going to try to uh, get as much damage as he can with his guns. And you're going to see how that turns on him uh, later on. Uh, but at any rate, we are going to go ahead, uh, get ourselves in position to shoot at the Queen Elizabeth. Um, and uh, our cruiser is actually spotting him as our... Um, destroyers behind an island shooting, um, you know, using, it's trying to shoot stuff. And boy, is that, can that be frustrating, guys? So, uh, but anyway, you can see, I don't know when I realized it. I think it was about here that he was not going to be much help. So I have to adjust my play style. So instead of just taking a good position behind an island, uh, you're going to see here, I'm going to have to do my own spotting. Um, because Queen Elizabeth is going to go dark. Um, and we're going to chill and try to be patient. Um, the good thing is, is if you know what you're playing up against, you can adjust to what your teammates are doing. So we understand our destroyer, again, is hanging back behind a mountain, trying to use his guns. Um, so we understand that we are going to have to do our own thing here. So at this point, I was worried I was getting rushed by both of the... Uh, cruiser and uh, the battleship. Now, I'm not super worried about the battleship because as the Queen Elizabeth, it's probably going to shoot HE. As you see, we do hit our sonar just in case uh, that cruiser is uh, moving up because he hasn't been spotted in a while. And we're going to come out and uh, we're going to try to get rid of Queen Elizabeth. Now, one thing about them ships is particularly at this tier and being a Queen Elizabeth, a lot of people are just going to be shooting HE out of it. So I wouldn't recommend getting on a 1v1 fight with the battleship uh, like uh, I am here. And we're going to try to shoot our guns to make them go into our torp. So uh, 
And then we're going to make ourselves real skinny because she's probably shooting HE. Or the Queen Elizabeth's probably shooting HE, and we don't want to make a big target for HE to put a bunch of fires on us. So, as you can see, uh, it almost worked getting uh, the Queen Elizabeth to turn into the Torps here. Uh, and also, she doesn't have her guns pointed at me for the most part. So, again, being aware of what you're up against in the fact that uh, what the ship is, and you're going to see, I think... Um, Queen Elizabeth will end up actually shooting me. Uh, she probably should have tried to switch to AP and get rid of me earlier. Um, but she didn't, and it's going to be bad. So they do, uh, like I said, most of the time you're going to see HE out of these things. As you see, she shoots HE, and we turn to miss it all. Um, and we're going to go ahead and finish it. Qu finish the Queen Elizabeth off here. Um, and uh, we're gonna just wait. I check my torpedoes to see which way they're moving and also to see how fast she's moving because um, maybe they'll run the torpedoes, but clearly you can see where our team's gonna end up getting rid of her as we accidentally run into our uh, battleship here. Um, but uh, the <laughs> again, the uh, destroyer's sitting in the smoke and instead of spotting is that he gets a kill on the Queen Elizabeth because uh, that's what he prefers to do. So <laughs> we're going to move up. Um, and uh, like I said, I don't try to complain about teammates, but there's that is the one pet peeve of mine is destroyers just doing stuff like this. And if you play destroyers like this, you're not helping your team out. If you're wondering why your win-loss record is not good and you're getting a lot of damage in destroyers, that's why. Being in a destroyer is not about your damage. And like I said, not ripping on this guy, just showing, uh, you know, you're going to see uh, in this match that this is not going to go very well for him. And he's probably a player that complains about his teammates. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead take a shot at the we'll get guess in there so i know that i'm spotted so in my head i'm kind of thinking that the shima that uh the maya has turned around or is not running anymore um so i'm keeping an eye over there you can see that um we are going to go ahead and 100 percent move up because we got to take the cap we're losing on ships we have a destroyer but you can tell by this point, I understand that he might not be the world's best help. So we're going to go for the cap, which naturally means he's going to try to get the cap points, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, but uh, we could definitely use a spotting too after he gets here or gets to the cap. So realizing uh, he's going to go for the cap, um, we are going to just worry about the Maya here to make sure that he uh, doesn't die and we can definitely help. Um, but, uh, you're going to see here, uh, we're going to put some torpedoes out just in case we're going to turn out, uh, the destroyer can get the cap, but you're going to see instead, he's just going to start shooting his guns. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, this HE on these ships do a lot of damage and you're going to see that that first salvo did pretty solid. Um, and, uh, um, we're going to take another shot here. I was actually surprised that Maya didn't try to just take out her destroyer as we completely finish off uh, that Maya there. Uh, and our destroyer is going to go cap. Um, this is the part where I really get frustrated because now um, this ending to this match is going to be really crazy. Uh, it, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but... Watch what happens. He goes in, he caps, and he sits behind a mountain. When there's a ton of stuff we could be shooting at this whole time, he says, I say, hey, I need spotting. Um, and uh, he said, he gives me a check mark and does nothing. <laughs> uh, that is that is rough. This is rough. This is would be um, not fun. So... Uh, instead of getting myself killed in front of pushing out in front of everybody, we're just going to chill here. You got to be patient. You cannot. Uh, I know that there was a uh, German battleship out there. I think it was a Bayern that we seen. Yeah. 
There's no reason to push up and get myself killed. Uh, so now our uh, destroyer is going to move up. Um, and uh, we're going to start taking out the Bayern. Um, and the, we're going to try to put it on fire. Obviously, he's angled to us. Don't hesitate to use your HE or your AP in the ship, but against battleships, it's not great. You really want to use it against cruisers uh, under 10 kilometers. You're going to see me use it later on. Uh, every Japanese uh, cruiser sh match you've ever seen on the channel has me using AP in it at some point. It's just the way I play them. Uh, AP in these things can do very well if the cruiser is within probably about 10 kilometers. But you can see <clears throat> we don't get any spotting over here, so we're going to take some dark shots. And uh, we're going to start looking at the Laguerre Sen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot or uh, worry about shooting him and try not to get spotted at this point. Um, so the. Uh, our battleship is doing a little bit spotting, thank gosh, because you're going to see in a second our destroyer is going to go again into a smoke cloud and just sit there and shoot when there's really nothing to shoot and he's going to end up losing all his health for it. So, again, you don't want to do that, especially in a place where we had a really good, really good opportunity to take advantage of his spotting here. As you see, we do switch to AP. Now, the Lagarison's out just out at 12 kilometers, so we're not getting the world's best damage off of it. So you can see I switch back to HE. Um, you know, we do get a couple hits, but honestly, at that distance, it's not not ideal. I figured maybe with a French cruiser as willing as they are to explode sometimes, I thought maybe I could get lucky. <laughs> but that doesn't seem to be the case, but we're going to try to get rid of him. Um, he does get a good shot at me here, um, but again, we're going to go ahead and try to take another shot out there to try to get rid of him, and our Nuremberg does. Now, this is the point where I want you guys to pay attention. <laughs> we have the caps, we have the point lead, we're tied on ships, and we have a destroyer, although be it he's sitting in a smoke cloud about to lose all his health because that's... He would try to get some damage numbers instead of helping out his team. Um, and in the meantime, our battleship is taking a beating, being the one doing all the spotting here, uh, which isn't terrible in a battleship, but when it doesn't have to be that way and it could be using island cover, is we get our Confederate, which means we were taking good opportune shots. You're going to see our battleship takes a quite of a beating here. And you see, I think I already did it, but I was telling people to back up because we have it. There's no reason to win harder here. We have the caps. Uh, the ships are tied, and we don't have a ton of health to be uh, uh, being ridiculous. And you guys are going to see a very interesting ending to the match. So as you can see, our destroyer lost all of his health trying to get a slight bit of damage. Um, and we're going to back up and try to do our best to not get spotted. Um, if you he can help it, there's no reason right now to be getting spotted for no reason. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, work on the cruiser coming in. Now, I think our destroyer did hit him. But again, the destroyer is deciding to open boat, shoot his guns. And you're going to see how that turns out for him again. You didn't learn the first time. <laughs> And uh, uh, he wanted to get a kill so bad, uh, again, that that is not going to pay off for him, and he's dead. So, now here we still, you know what, we lost our destroyer, but we, um, <laughs> we, we still in a position to win this. We're, we're obviously, we've been working on the Bayern, uh, but then the Hayuga goes down, which we're still in a position to win if people would quit charging in and dying. Uh, the battleship went in. Now, granted, he was doing a lot of spotting for us. Now, I'm telling the new Nuremberg, get back. You know, we can, we can still, we still can win this 100%. So, I'm just taking a couple shots at, I have a bunch of health, so I'm not worried about dying at this point. Um, and you're going to see uh, Nuremberg as well. Uh, he's going to go ahead and start firing his guns. <laughs> 
uh, when he doesn't need to be. You can see, obviously, nobody's in his detection rating. Um, and uh, he is going to go down here in a second. So we have this about to win, you know, and I pull out just to uh, take a gander, make sure I'm not getting charged, and you're going to see uh, uh, the uh, our Nuremberg gets killed. So all our teammates over here, they're trying to win harder, and there was no reason to do that, and we end up losing. And that's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video, where obviously at this point I have to try to do something to win. I, there's nothing I can do, but... Uh, that's where you can see that Citadel absolutely gets rocked if you, you know, it doesn't get overpinned in, in most cases. You've got to be careful with that Citadel on that ship. Anyway, we got a Confederate. Uh, we helped get rid of the Destroyer. Uh, we did, you know, we took our shots of opportunity and uh, was not good enough. So the, the lesson to be learned here is don't try to win harder. We I don't like to try to about, complain about teammates, but uh, a good showcase of the ship and its abilities with 13 fires and some significant damage, uh, but uh, also a good showcase of people trying to win harder in a place where they didn't need to. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time, folks. Have a good one.